This is gonna be a no-nonsense guide, step-by-step -step on how to do all of the quests in the mode network point system so that you can maximize the amount of points and therefore the amount of airdrop you will receive. Let's go. Now, luckily for us, mode network actually is working with layer three. As you can see right here, they have eight different quests over on layer3.xyz that you can go and complete to maximize the amount of points you'll get and therefore maximize the amount of airdrop tokens you will get when the time comes. You can see right here, I've already done two of the first ones here, which is bridging to the test net and bridging to the main net. If you don't know how to do that, I will show you how to do that right here. You're gonna go over to mode.network. You're gonna click on bridge, and then you're gonna need to make sure you are on the Ethereum main net to start. You'll put in whatever amount of tokens you want to bridge. For this example, I will do 0 0.05. You're gonna bridge ETH, or another token, you have some other options, but I'm gonna do ETH over to Mode Network, and that is it. It is that simple. It will cost you probably between five and $10. You can see right here for my transaction, I believe it costs it a little more. Yes, it costs 1191. I don't know what the actual final number was, but the estimate was 1191, so it's not necessarily cheap. We know that Ethereum is not cheap, unfortunately, but it will cost you that. So if you wanna do more than one transaction, I would recommend doing just one transaction and do the amount that you actually want to bridge all in one transaction because doing more is going to cost you basically $10 or more every time. On the right side, 18 hours left for the higher reward. That's why I'm making this video today because this is an important mark. Do these today. Do this today. Link down below for my referral code. Get in today. You can also refer your friends, but you're going to get higher rewards right now. Let's go back to the quests. The first one is Kim Exchange. This is basically a swapping site that is uh, partnered with Mode Network. So you'll go over here, and as you saw, I put in 0.05 ETH. That should be enough to do all these things, all these quests. So if you want to do them all in one go, make sure you have about 0.05 ETH. You can see right here, I will go ahead and put 0.02 ETH into USDC. It's a simple swap. Kim Exchange, as far as I've used it so far, is actually pretty decent. Um, the fees are not horrible, and it does go relatively quick. And again, this will all be transacted on Mode Network. So now we're off on we're off ETH mainnet. We're now using Mode Network for all of these swaps. The next one will be the SUP swap, and you can see that you have to go and follow them on Twitter and learn about them in the first two slides. But the main thing you're going to do for each of these is actually using these different swap sites and different partner sites. This one's very similar to Kim Exchange. You basically go over here, you're going to swap whatever you want. I'm going to swap Ethereum into USDC. For this one, I'm only going to do 0 0.01, just so we have enough USDC, which we'll actually use in one of the further quests in just a minute here. What you'll also see is that for basically all these sites, you're going to have to allow them to um, access USDC and access your Ethereum on your wallet. So you're going to have to prove, approve a transaction that's usually about 20 cents or so that allows you um, or allows the site to withdraw your USDC or withdraw your ETH and access it. So make sure you only give it access to have however much you want to. In my case, as you can see here, I actually only give it access to the max number of whatever I'm trading. So in this case, it was, you know, 0 0.01 ETH or 50 USDC or whatever it is. Once you complete these, you're going to see that your levels start going up and you go on to the next quest. For this one, you basically want to go over to space.id, and this is very similar to the .eth, the Ethereum name service, except it's on mode. It's the mode name service. So you can see here, I'm gonna go and search a bunch of different options, and what you'll find is that if you do lower um, numerical or lower um, character count names, they will cost more money. Uh, and it's surprising about how many of these are still available. You can see MattCrypto.mode is actually one that I own on another wallet. For some reason, someone went and took MattCabuzio.mode. It wasn't me. As far as I know, as far as I can remember, that's not my wallet. So I'm not sure where that came from. And I, you, there you go. Someone stole my name. So I, I just wanted to see if fu.mode was available and someone's selling it for one ETH. So we're not buying that. But then I went and did some crazy stuff like nipple.mode and that one's available as you can see. And then I did one that's pretty clever, etna.mode. If you know The Incredibles, you'll know that reference. But you can see here that it's $50 a year. It's 0 0.019 ETH, which is kind of a lot for Edna mode. I mean, it's funny, but I don't think I'm actually gonna be using this. So I did long, I did fart. All the four character ones are the same price, roughly about $50. And some of these are pretty funny, right? Some of these are pretty like common words, but 
I ended up doing this one that's only $5. It's basically my last name. Instead of Matt Cabuzio, just do cabuzio.mode. And really here, I'm not trying to get one that I really care about that much. I got Matt's Crypto, which is the one I mainly wanted. Um, but basically do a longer word and you'll only have to pay $5 plus the fee of about $2, give or take, whatever your uh, transaction fee is at the time. So we'll say between seven and $10 will get you your mode username, your mode name, service name, and that will complete your next quest. Then you'll head back over to layer three and you'll click verify and it will verify once you've done that quest. And again, every quest you complete, you'll get XP and then you'll get level bonuses, which really don't matter all that much other than the fact that we are actually completing these on-chain activities. So now we'll see for all these other ones that I haven't completed yet, what you'll have to do basically for every one of the quest challenges for the different partners is you'll have to go and follow them on Twitter. And sometimes it gets a little glitchy here where it doesn't actually allow you to uh, click verify right away. So if it does that, just go back and then re-click next. So on this one, it's a lending platform. This is Ionic. So it's app.ionic.money. Make sure you go into the right account for these. I recommend clicking the button right from layer three, but if you go to these individually based on the URL, make sure you have the correct URL. You're gonna wanna go over here, connect your wallet. It's gonna again be on mode network the whole time you're doing all these things. And it might be a little laggy. This one I've had some issues with where it doesn't pop up right away. So if it doesn't pop up for you right away, just be patient. Make sure you reconnect to the website. It'll pop up. We're gonna use the USDC that we uh, swapped earlier from the Ethereum on Kim Exchange and on Subswap. We're gonna use the USDC here to supply some liquidity for this project. Most of these will cost anywhere between 20 cents and $2. Usually the actual transaction of sending will cost more and the um, allowing of your USDC to be used from your wallet on the site will cost a little bit less, but it varies from site to site. If you end up paying something like 10, $20, then I would highly recommend waiting until Ethereum gas goes down. We don't wanna spend $20 just to pay for transaction fees on what's supposed to be a cheaper L2. Then we'll go over to the next one, which is standard protocol. Again, it's standard protocol that you're gonna have to go and follow each one of these on Twitter or X, whatever you wanna call it. Um, make sure you, Honestly, I believe you don't even have to actually follow them. I think as long as you go to the site and then come back, it will actually give you the verification. But I would recommend following all these because there's a good chance that you're gonna see these again in the future and you wanna hear about what the updates are on all these partner programs because you never know when they could have airdrops as well. So this one, you have to trade at least $25 on market trades on this site. Now this one was a little bit tough at first. I had some issues with it at first. Um, you have to actually go ahead and trade. You're basically buying or selling Ethereum. So you can buy it in different coins, um, USDT or USDC. In my case, we're gonna use USDC because again, that's what we swapped into earlier so that we had funding. I went ahead and did 30 USDC to make sure we're over that $25 limit. And just in case there's any slippage, there's any fees involved, we wanna have just enough over $25 to make sure that we actually qualify for the $25 limit, uh, which is really good to see. And then you go over and verify and the verification on these were actually quite quick as well, which is good to see for a new L2 uh, early on that it's actually working with partner sites pretty well. The next one here, you actually need to have Discord connected to your layer three. So if you don't have a Discord, you're gonna need to make one. And if you don't have Discord connected to your layer three account, you'll have to do that over here as well. But once you do that, you can open Discord, join LogX's Discord, and then you can go to the next step, which is again, going to be following them on uh, X or Twitter. And once you've done that, you can come back, verify that, and then you will have two more steps for this one because it's a bit more of a deep dive quest, I guess you could say. The first one on this one is going to be to provide liquidity, and you have to provide $50 of liquidity, which is a bit more than these other ones we've had to do so far. There were no limits on the first couple, and then the last one was a $25 trade. This one is a $50 liquidity providing, so you can't exactly trade it and get it back. You have to provide liquidity. I'm not gonna, guess on how long we have to do it for, you probably could buy it and then sell it right away uh, and still qualify for the quest. But for my sake, I'm leaving it in there. Um, and I go ahead and do 50 USDC, which again is exactly what we said we have to uh, provide. Uh, this one, I don't think is gonna be too much of an issue with uh, pricing. So we'll provide $50 worth of liquidity and you'll see we'll get 49.72 LLP, which is the log X liquidity um, protocol coin, I believe. You can actually go ahead and stake this on here after if you want to. The current rate of the APR is like 23%. The next quest is to trade on LogX. Now this one's a little bit more risky. 
a lot more risky, I should say. What I'm gonna do here, instead of trading $500 of volume, which is what you have to do, I'm gonna go ahead and put $50 of USDC because we should still have enough USDC if you traded the same way I did on the first two steps here. And we're gonna go ahead and do 10X leverage. Now this one's weird because you have to have $500 of volume in leverage trading and you have to market open and close a leverage trade. You could do a 1.1X leverage trade to be super safe with it, but to do this quicker and to spend less fees, I decided to do, again, $51 times 10X leverage is $510 of volume. The only thing you have to be really careful with here is that if for some reason Ethereum, or if you choose to do Bitcoin, go up or down very quickly, you could liquidate all the funds you put in there. In other words, you could liquidate the $51 that you put in there, and we don't want that to happen. So what you're gonna go do here is pick long or short, doesn't really matter. If you wanna do this method the way I'm doing it, and this is not financial advice at all, do it however you prefer, you can go in and put $51, 10X leverage for a total of $510 in volume, open the trade and immediately come down to here and click close, like instantly. So that way there is very, very little chance that you get liquidated from a crazy movement. Um, try to pick a time when the market's not moving a lot because if it's moving a lot, you could really get screwed and, and lose your $51 here and then you'd have to go and do it again and it's just not worth it. So make sure you go and do it when a time where Bitcoin or Ethereum is not moving as much. And if you do decide to do 10X leverage, be very careful to open and close it immediately. Then go over to the trade section here and make sure it actually is closed. You'll see open and you'll see close. Make sure you see the close. For me, I lost, I don't know, 30 cents on it and then whatever the fees were to actually initiate the transaction. So maybe a dollar or two is what this costed. But with that one transaction, we actually will qualify for the $500 of trading volume, which seems like a lot, but when you do it that way, it's actually not that bad. As long as you, again, close out of that perp trade right away if you're gonna do the 10X leverage. Okay, that's it. Those are all the quests on Mo Network. There are eight quests in there. They're relatively quick. You can see we've done it all in 15 minutes. And this is gonna qualify you for, at the very least, the bare minimum allocation for this airdrop. If you guys do wanna earn more, you can use your referral code, which will be on the site. On the site, you'll see your referral code, just like you see on mine right here. And if you enjoyed the video, I, all I ask you is to use my referral code down below, click on it and go and do your stuff and it'll automatically uh, work for you. If you do need to input the code, you can. It's on the screen and I'll leave it down below as well. But that's it. We'll see you guys all soon. Hopefully this one is a good airdrop for all of us. Have a great day.